starting a salt water system. The pool man came and hooked up the salt system. We did not have the pool chemicals balanced, but he said, pour the salt in, turn the salt system on, run it for 24 hours, and then have the water tested. At that point, what are we supposed to do? So while I might have been a little softer and gentler in the process of doing all of that, I, he's not entirely wrong. So you get, you get your saturation of salt in, it takes at least 24 hours for it to circulate and have a fairly consistent salinity of the water throughout. Uh, if you throw all the salt in at one time, you're certainly going to have a higher concentration of salt at the bottom than you do at the top. Run it for 24 or 48 hours. Okay. Make sure it's mixing well. That'll give you a consistent reading. Once you have that, you can then figure out, is your salt level appropriate? Now let's start adjusting pH, calcium hardness, uh, alkalinity, all of those other things. So. Um, it might have been better and easier to have balanced those before, added the salt slowly till you brought up the level you wanted, then readjusted everything again. That's a long process. I could see why someone would want to try to jumpstart it to make it that much easier. And uh, th there's a couple philosophies. There's the whole jump in and go, which is that guy. And then there's sort of the let's wine and dine the pool and slowly bring the salt up to the level it needs to be. If you have time and patience, you choose that route. If you're a go-getter and you just go, you throw it all in there and then you balance it and move on. So I don't know that there's a right or wrong in either one of those.